Hello, this is Tammy, Plays Well with Paper, for the Whimsy Stamps Halloweeners design team. And I made a Halloween card using some wonderful Ranger Distress mica stains for the Halloween season. And I also included some Ranger Distress paste that is only available for the Halloween season. And I paired those with several things from the Whimsy Stamps line. So I started off with the great new Forever Cameo die set that will be featured on my card. And then I used the Slimline Scenic Window Die. And along with that, I wanted to use the new Harlequin 6x9 stencil. And I love that there are three different types of Harlequin within that. Uh, and of course, my heart was drawn to this one that is all distressed. I love this irregular one in the center. And then, of course, the classic, very clean cut Harlequin on the end. They're all wonderful, but of course, I went with the distressed one. Now, along with the Harlequin stencil, the Forever Cameo and the Slimline Scenic die. I will be adding a few other things as we go along and so I'll tell you about those when I get there. The texture paste I'm gonna be using with the Harlequin stencil is the Black Opaque Texture Paste from Ranger Ink and Tim Holtz. And this is a very dark, completely opaque texture paste. It's amazing. And I knew it was just gonna be perfect with the Harlequin stencil. So I'm gonna be using this on a piece of Distress Heavy stock. Um, this has a slight yellow coloration to it. And so I'm gonna begin by spreading some of that opaque texture paste through the stencil, that distressed side that I was telling you about. And I'm just putting it randomly in different places. And then I'm gonna to have to set it aside to dry before I add any color. Now you could do this before or after you color the paper. And I chose for this card to do it before. Once the paste had dried, I put it in my splat box and I'm gonna color it with Ominous Twilight Mica Stain, a little bit of Fallen Acorn Distress Mica Stain. And then I sprayed it with a little bit more water and then I'm going to go ahead and start drying it just a little bit before I add some flecks of burning ember mica stain so that's the orange that I'm just flicking on there and then I'm gonna add a little bit more water just kind of soften those uh, little spots and gonna start drying it I got another piece of distress mixed media heavy stock and I am spraying it right now with some Specimen Distress Mica Stain. And I'm adding a little bit of Empty Tomb Distress Mica Stain straight to the paper. I just uh, sprayed it a little bit beforehand with some water. And then I dried it. Got another piece. And I'm doing this one with Empty Tomb and Black Soot Distress Spray Stain. So yes, you can mix the Distress Spray Stains with the Mica Stains. And so I put those on there and adding a little bit of water and drying those. And you can see the shine of the Mica. When they were dry, I cut the Forever Cameos out of both papers. I cut the Skeletons out of the Green Specimen and I cut the Silhouettes out of the Empty Tomb. Now it was time to make my card base. So I took some Lost Shadow Distress Spray Stain and some Phantom Mist mica stain. I sprayed the paper with a little bit of water and then the Lost Shadow Distress Stain and went over it with a bit of the Phantom Mist and then added more water. And I probably added a little too much water here but I wanted it light enough that uh, it wasn't overpowering. Then as it continued to dry I did add a few drops of water to add some interest and then I cut it into a slimline card shape. Got out the gorgeous, exquisite lace stamps and the Distress Mica Stain in Unraveled. I sprayed some of that mica stain onto my work surface and then taking the largest of the exquisite lace stamps, I just kind of tapped that stamp into the Unraveled Mica Stain 
and then pressed it onto the front of my card base. And it didn't really look so lacy as much as it just added a beautiful kind of lacy sheen to the front of the card here and there. And so I just continued to add little bits of shimmery lace all to the front of my card base. Then I decided I wanted to see some of that lace detail, so I stamped across the mica stain with some Lost Shadow Distress ink. And so you can see one row. I did that all across the front so that I would be able to see it through the window die. And I like that detail. I cut the scenic window die out of that paper that I made at the beginning where I flicked a little bit of the burning ember to add the touches of deep rust. I brought in some browns with the fallen acorn and then that purple with the ominous twilight. And of course the amazing black opaque texture paste through the Harlequin stencil. And so I love all the little details and how that black opaque texture paste really held up even when I sprayed the mica stain over it. Now my plan was to put the two silhouettes in the center and then the bones in the outside. You can see I have quite a few that I have cut and that's because I'm going to be layering them so that they stand out on the card. And then here's the finished product. You can see all the shimmeriness from the different mica stains that I used, especially as they turn it in the light. But you may notice that I have added a few things since the last check-in, and that is that along with the colors that I just went over, I wanted to add something to bring in the background, and so I used decayed mica stain. It has this kind of greenish gold, antique gold color. And so I just flicked that onto the background before I cut it out with the scenic window die. And I really feel like that gold pulls in the, the gold from the decayed stamping that I did with the exquisite lace die. So I think that just really pulled the background as well as the front frame all together. And then we end with those wonderful shimmery forever cameos. And this card tells a story. I needed a sentiment. And as I was looking over all of my whimsy stamps, I ran across one that I go to time and time again. And that would be the grave epitaphs. There are just so many things that you can stamp uh, using this set. I think it's a must for any Halloween card stamping. So these were made to put on tombstones and things like that. Uh, but I took the Your Youth and the Small Rest in Peace and I put them all in the same line and stamped out the sentiment on a leftover little strip from the card base that I had left over. So it ties in with the colors of the card base. It has just a little bit of shimmer. And then I stamped it in black archival. I added a few little touches with some retired Tim Holtz ideology droplets on the front and a little bit of black velvet ribbon tied in a bow at the top. And that will do it for my card today for Whimsy Stamps Halloweeners Design Team. If you enjoyed this tutorial, we would appreciate it if you would like this video and make sure that you are subscribed to the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel and all of their other social media platforms. We don't want you to miss out on any of the upcoming releases or amazing inspiration.